Yo, welcome back to the final episode of the Saints theme team here in Madden 21. Huge shout out to everybody for watching this series all year long. We had like 75 something episodes, 30 to 40 streams. I mean, just hundreds of pieces of content over these theme teams. Man, I appreciate y'all for watching. Saints fans, who that nation, love you guys. Had a blast with this team. It pissed me off that we could never actually do any better than the Bengals did. In weekend league, it kind of bothered me, but that's my fault probably. But yeah, man, we're just gonna take this video. We're gonna go over the team. What could have been better? What we missed out on? All that kind of stuff. We look forward to Madden 22. Make sure you guys are voting in the poll. That's the main point of this video. I'm not having any gameplay in this video, by the way. Just a discussion. Um, if you hate me for not having gameplay, I'm sorry. It's July 20th. Get over it. But yeah, man, we're just going to talk about the team. But vote in the poll because the polls open every single day. And if you want your favorite team to be my focus for the theme teams next year, make sure you're voting. Uh, doesn't have to be a Saints, doesn't have to be the Bengals, it can be any team you want. I'll put the top five results on the screen right now. That's no particular order, I'm not giving away anything. Those are just the teams that are in the top five with the best odds of being selected for a theme team next year. If you guys don't know, the number one team is guaranteed and then the rest of the teams will be put into a random generator, probably a wheel of some kind. And uh, the amount of slots that they have like their odds, their percentage odds is based on the percentage of the vote they got. So even if your team is dead ass last, if you can get them up to 3% of the vote even, that just gives you a better chance to win. So just keep voting for your favorite team down below. Appreciate everybody. We got like 400 votes on there, which is crazy. We got 29 votes in Madden 20's poll. Then we have 400 votes We're already in this one. Just shows the growth on the channel. Appreciate you guys. Let's take a look at this squad and uh, see what we ended up with here. Offensive line is studly except for Andrews Pete. I think Teron Armstead being in the 97 is a little bit disrespectful, but it is what it is. But Andrews Pete is just trash. Eric McCoy though, Jari Evans, Ram check. A little surprise, Ruiz never got an upgraded card, but we had Evans, so it didn't matter. But Ruiz is like definitely better than Andrews Pete. Uh, Will Clappington and Nick Easton. We never even had a backup left tackle. Shame. Uh, but a great offensive line. No complaints whatsoever. Uh, offensive line was good all year long. Tight ends overload. We also have that uh, Taysom Hill Christmas card, by the way. But uh, Jeremy Shockey, Jared Cook, and Jimmy Graham. All studs, man. Jimmy, Jimmy Grant. Like, these cards are all great. Jeremy Shockey is the best one, though. But uh, Jared Cook, low-key. That route running is crisp. Super crisp. Jamie Graham's just a big old body. But yeah, tight ends were never a problem. What was a problem was the damn receivers. And they're still a problem, bro. Michael Thomas is our only goal 99 wide receiver. The Bengals have three. Just saying. And Michael Thomas didn't even play, bro. He was only, he only played like four games. How he the goal 99? With all due respect. 98, Brandon Cooks. He's good. He got 99 speed at least. Got Emmanuel Sanders at 99. Reggie Bush is our fifth wide receiver. That's how bad it is. Trey Corn Smith. Just disgraceful behaviors from our wide receivers. But it is, you know what? The game's over. It doesn't matter anymore. Running backs were always godly as well. We also have Adrian Peters. And we have four gold 99 running backs. Uh, Ricky Williams. Alvin Kamara and Reggie Bush. I use AP a lot. That's why it's not in the lineup anymore because I was going to use Ricky Williams if I played any more games, but nah. Golden ticket, Taysom Hill. Love Taysom Hill, man. Super fun. And then, of course, Drew Brees, man. It's going to be so f Dude, it's going to be so weird next year when we get a Legends Drew Brees, bro. What the f*** is that about? Oh, my God, dude. Oh, pain and sadness. Legends Drew Brees. Oh, God. That's not even right, man. That's not even right. I've been playing. I'm 28 years old. Never been a Legends Drew Brees. Oh my goodness. And uh, hopefully Jameis Winston gets a decent. Hopefully he plays well next year and gets a good upgrade too. Cause he has strong arm. I'm pretty sure. Am I wrong about that? Is Jameis? I don't think I have his card anymore. I think I sold it. I did. But I want to say he was a strong arm. I could be wrong. But if he's a strong arm, we need we need that Gunslinger ASAP. Um, but yeah, Drew Brees, Noodle Arm Brees. Before that 99 card, man, he didn't get Gunslinger. That, woo! It was a struggle bus. All right, fullback. Let me uh let me real quick. Let me see if I can afford this this uh this card real quick. Really? You're not gonna let me just plug it in, EA? Time out. Time out. Time out, boys. All right, there he is. 99 Lorenzo Neal. I had sold that card so I could have enough coins just in case more stuff was dropping, but since the year is done, I can put him back on the squad and max it out now. And uh, Michael Burton as well. We got two. Why do we have two fullback? Like, oh my goodness, bro. This, de <laughs> this team team is absolutely juiced. And then we go over to the defense, and I'm about to, I'm about to cry, bro. Oh my goodness. Look at this defense, bro. Can't, first of all, We'll get to that later. Marcus Williams is goaded. 
Von Bell is like my favorite user of the entire year on both theme teams too. Uh, Demario Davis, you guys already know this from Madden 20 if you were here and now Madden 21, greatest QB spy of all time. Hands down, no questions asked. I don't wanna hear it. Demario Davis is the GOAT, bro, at QB spy. F y'all if you don't if you disagree pete warner is black in the game which is always funny to me but uh, shout out to pete warner <laughs> sam mills uh we got blessed with sam mills and leroy glover being free cards man we got the mutt master and the team captain on the Saints team team that's lucky as hell that's not going to happen again next year most likely um alex anzalone unfortunately linebackers weren't even usable though like the mutt master it wasn't even like how's that possible how do you have a mutt master at a position that doesn't even work that's that's hilarious jonathan vilma a surprising 99 overall and uh kiko alonzo you got ricky jackson who was absolutely a stud for my you know my pass rush didn't really do as well as everybody else's i guess it was because i wasn't really trying to get a pass rush maybe Quan, bro who remembers Quan? do Quan alexander before we got that who before that demario davis dropped i think it was before demario when were we using Quan? oh it was before ricky jackson came out dude Quan. Quan was balling we got sammy knight and kenny vaccaro over here sammy knight sammy knight wasn't that good bro i'm gonna be honest with you guys he really wasn't then we come down here to cornerback bro and we have no gold 99 corners none zero like if Excuse me, but Marshawn Lattimore, like, come on, bro. Tracy Porter, like, you just stopped. Could have gave him a power-up expansion at least. Like, Tracy Porter's a Saints god. Janoris Jenkins, Malcolm Jenkins. We, I had to move him to cornerback just to get some help. Um, it was bad. D-line, you know, we got Peyton Turner, Trey Hendrickson, Leroy Glover. We already talked about him. Nick Fairley. D-line D was good. Anya Mata, Sheldon Ranklins, Cam Jordan, Akeem Hicks. Good-ass defensive line. No complaints at all. Uh, stopped the run really well. Like I said, the pass rush wasn't really wasn't really that good. Trey Henderson was kind of decent at the pass rush, but everybody else was just meh. I wasn't using any abilities though, so that's probably part of the reason why. But yeah, man, next year if we get the Saints, I'd love to see some better cornerbacks. We had at Christmas time when this Marshawn came out, we had Tracy Porter, we had Marshawn, and Eric Allen and Janoris Jenkins all like at the same time. And at that point, we had a really good secondary, and they just never upgraded it again after that. That was it. We got, I don't think we got a single cornerback on this team since December. So that's just, that's just pain. That's all I know is pain, guys. All I know is pain. Cam Jordan not being a higher overall is disappointing, but he didn't play very well. Uh, but again, like I said, like Michael Thomas didn't play at all. So I don't understand why, you know, Cam Jordan and Marshawn wouldn't get, EA make no sense, bro. They don't, they, we all know this already. EA doesn't make no damn sense. If anything, guys, honestly, if anything, Cam Jordan and Marshawn Lattimore are more likable players that would have appealed to the greater audience of EA than Michael Thomas. Everybody outside of New Orleans fucking hates Michael Thomas, bro. You ever noticed that on Twitter? Nobody likes Michael Thomas if you're not a Saints fan. Nobody. Everybody thinks he's a slant man and he doesn't deserve his ratings and blah, 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 whatever. So I'm shocked that they didn't just get, everybody loves Cam Jordan, bro. He got a podcast with Mark Ingram. It's great. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, we obviously we needed to upgrade a receiver more than anything else. So it is what it is. Special teams. They just gave us this Morton Anderson. I wasn't going to make a video on that. It's just can't be, can't be asked. But uh, we did get a 99 kicker, but our punter was a 95. Uh, we had Reggie Bush back here returning the kicks. And uh, yeah, that's the team, man. That's the, I don't have as many complaints about this team as the Saints as the Bengals team. Just give us wide receivers earlier, man. That's all I asked for. And give us cornerbacks after. You don't just give us three cornerbacks all in a two-week span and never never give us another one again. That's my only request. And make linebackers usable because this would have been really fun to run some 3-4 if linebackers were usable with Samuels and Vilma. That would have been sick. Because, uh, you know, Saints fans, we know that Jonathan Vilma was our guy on the Super Bowl team. He was like our, our, the leader of the squad back then. So to have him on the field would have been super sick, but it just wasn't possible. It just didn't work so the shame but uh yeah man appreciate you guys for watching this entire series man you guys are legends uh appreciate y'all the growth on this channel we grew over a thousand subs this year so that's crazy to me and uh bigger and better things in madden 22 make sure you're subscribed smash the like button like i said turn those notifications on so that you don't miss the live streams when we go up so that we can pick our theme teams and have some fun in madden 22 i'm super excited we're only a couple weeks away it's july 20th right now and uh man i'm just excited for something new bro every time a new madden comes out like i'm i'm still new to youtube so like i'm not super experienced with this but like the feeling of a new game coming out and all the potential that comes with it even if the game sucks just all the growth potential that comes and like the, the so i'm really big on community and meeting new people and you know having more people in the chat and the discord and all that stuff uh, that's the most important thing to me because i think that's fun for me like i just like meeting new people so the community grows potential whenever a new game drops is super exciting uh, so make sure you stay tuned for that and uh if you're still watching the cfm i appreciate you uh, it's, i'm shocked that people still watch anything that's related to madden 21 so love you guys man and uh we'll be back with the theme team action in a couple of weeks hopefully mutt 22 is is better than mutt 21 the content in mutt was really good but the game was terrible hopefully they get a good balance in madden 22 and that uh, we can have some fun and grow a little bit and we'll catch you guys there peace